According to the Department of Environmental Quality, Michigan is the 12th producer of non-fuel minerals, including iron ore. In Michigan, surface rights, also known as land rights, are different than mineral rights. According to the DEQ, surface rights offer the land for residential, agricultural, recreational, commercial, or other purposes. Ideally, the DNR would own the land and mineral rights, but back in the 1950s, only the land rights in some areas of the Porcupine Mountains were up for sale. Currently, the one-by-one one square mile plot where exploratory copper drilling is taking place by Michigan law, the mineral owner Highland Copper's right to drill. Mineral right owners have the power to access those rights and dig on their property as long as it doesn't harm the surface land. Using a very small portion of the park in, in um, the extreme far west area of the park, places that people think of when they think of the Porcupine Mountains like the Presque Isle River or Summit Peak or Lake of the Clouds are not being impacted at all by this project. The DNR has granted a permit of use to Orvana Resources, a subsidiary of a Canadian mining company, Highland Copper. So what does this mean? The DNR is involved, as well as the DEQ, in the drilling process. Both organizations have worked with Highland Copper to make several provisions in order to minimize impact on the land. Now the drill bits are managed by two workers who drill nearly three meters into the soil each time. And it is only done while the ground is frozen in order to not damage the soil. But if we do get that warm weather expected this weekend, it will be put to a halt. Secondly, this specific location has seen other projects before. Back in the 1950s, logging was done in part of this park, allowing Highland Copper to work on paths that have already been in place. The mining company plans to drill 12 holes as well as create three new routes. But according to Highland Copper, due to upcoming warm weather, one route plan has already been canceled. The DEQ is doing inspections of this site. According to Highland Copper, any trees four inches in diameter and reaching four feet tall known as merchantable lumber will be reimbursed to the state. There have been um, people that have um, been uh, weighing in uh, from the public um, on both sides um, of the issue, uh, w what you would consider to be the uh, pro-mining public and also the anti-mining public. And, and in this case, we're, we're just working very hard to try to explain the facts of what actually is happening on the site. And, that this is uh, exploratory test drilling only, it's, it's not mining. Now the project aims to be done by the second week in March. If the company wishes to mine in the Porcupine Mountains, it would need to go through a long process. First, Highland Copper would need to do a feasibility study, figuring out if the mountain quality of copper is worth the cost. Next, they would need to present their plan to the DEQ, then public meetings would follow. If the long process passed, Highland Copper would still need to access the park through tunnels and underground land starting on the land they own right next to the Section 5 plot. Once again, mining legally cannot change the surface or layout of the state park. I'm Lauren Lee with ABC 10 and the CW5.